Brother Sizwe Herring, and our and my sister with all the information, our community outreach liaison, Teresa Kennedy. Thank you. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank y'all so much for being here. We are uh, one big happy family at Earth Matters and uh, really proud of the extended communities that we have uh, created throughout the years. Uh, we've only been around for 19 years in Nashville. Yeah. Older than Community Foundation, older than a lot of the other real established organizations here in Nashville, so we like to consider ourselves one of that. I'd like to introduce Teresa Kennedy. She's our board chair for this next uh, term, and she's been a blessing to our organization. She and her family are very active at the garden. Uh, Darwin's here, husband here, is here, and uh, we just, just feel really blessed to have a community of people to come around us and support our organization and our movement, which is what it's all about today. So, Teresa, can you say a few words? Sure, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out and showing your support. I know there's other things that we could be doing, but we're choosing to spend our time and space here in support of Earth Matters. Um, we've got a very rare um, organization that has a long history of promoting sustainability, environmentalism, and good stewardship, and actually building America. We build soil, we build compost, and we educate our youth. So thank you for taking the time out to show that you care about the work that we're doing. We appreciate all the efforts that you've been making over the years, attending the events, being friends of Earth Matters, being engaged, being involved, making changes in your individual lives, and showing us support in all the ways that you've done. I'd like to extend my thanks, and I hope you that you enjoy your evening. All right, and I would like to rec rec uh, recognize Brother Johnny Ewing, who's in the house right here. Johnny Ewing is here, uh, the mayor of Sunnyside, and uh, one of our number one volunteers at the garden. Uh, he was featured on Channel 5 a, a week or so ago, pulling bags of leaves into our garden and testifying that this is a, a project that keeps folks alive. It keeps us connected to the planet. And at the, end of the, uh, at the end of the Channel 5 piece, he says, you know, we come from Earth. We're all going to go back to the Earth. So we need to take care of the Earth, right? right. was 14 months old when he first showed up here and he went to the blackberry patch and he went swimming hiking they loved it and so we encouraged other families to come the big thing with his way was carver and the peanut so and then just the animals and showing kids when you come to the farm you are here with the animals you don't kill them See, like, no, don't do that. This is their home. So we learned a, just a whole new way of thinking. We also learned how to eat better. And, you know, sometimes we would stop and get a cheeseburger before we got here because we knew we went. <laughs> the talent show was the most fabulous thing I'd ever seen. It, it just, it was fabulous. The kids would come, we would add, and sometimes kids would, I don't have a talent. We'd just do something. My, my 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 son's first talent thing, he sung his ABCs. And as a result of being in the kids of the country, my son, he joined the Nashville Ballet for three years. Wow. And he danced, he was a principal actor for the Nutcracker. Oh. And the Nashville Ballet, so I mean, that just, uh, it's just an example of what kids of the country done it taught the kids that you can do we planted the seed you can do anything you want to do and my kids live those principles i know we went to ben and jerry's for ice cream one day and it was trash laying on the floor and my daughter went and picked it up me and my son eating ice cream what are you doing 
if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And I was like, kids to the country. And one of the things that it taught me is service. And that's something that I will never forget Sizzway for. Sizzway and Thomas. I lost Poober. I lost both of them this year. But if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be the person that I am now. I never stopped loving Sizzway, but I will make sure that his legacy lives on. called Kids for the Country. What's that? Well, it arranges for underprivileged kids from the cities to spend a vacation in the country. Now, Charlie wants to send four kids out here to spend a week with us. But that's a wonderful idea. I'll be a mother for a whole week. What kind of children is he sending? What do you mean, what kind? Well, boys or girls. What's the difference? Well, the boys are the ones that shake, and the girls are the ones who say, you got yourself. That was Charlie Graham from New York. He's the head of an organization called Kids for the Country. What's that? Well, it arranges for underprivileged kids from the cities to spend a vacation in the country. Now, Charlie wants to send four kids out here to spend a week with us. But that's a wonderful idea. I'll be a mother for a whole week. What kind of children is he sending? What do you mean, what kind? Well, boys or girls. What's the difference? Well, the boys are the ones that shake, and the girls are the ones who say, you got yourself. <laughs>